up until very recently with even you know 1080p content and primarily out of Microsoft's you know play ready involvement in the business this concept of trusted execution or hardware DRM started to evolve around 2011 2012 there were companies in the place like Trustonic and others who had software implementations that created an emulation of of hardware in the sense of providing a safe place to put the actual keys to play the content back and uh, over time, what has happened now is that in the marketplace, because of the way the technologies have been developed, one of the, uh, so, so one of the clear things that's happening with 4K is that hardware is a requirement. And the reason it's a requirement is because to lose a 1080p file is kind of a big deal. But to lose a 4K file or just have it overtly be out there in the open, it's somewhat of a tragedy because of what people can do with it. Um, on top of that, because of that higher target metric on 4K content, the idea now is that, for example, if you have a, an Android phone, like this phone right here, it's a Samsung S9, this phone has the widevine technology on it, but it has a trusted execution environment where when a DRM license server sends a key down to this device to watch a video, instead of that key sitting in a folder or a file that's encrypted, it's actually in a trusted space. It's in, a, it's in an enclave, if you will. Uh, where a hardware process is managing it, preventing side attacks, brute force attacks, and other things, which I'm going to ask Vincent about in a second. <laughs>